Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Game Lancer here, and today guys we are going to be talking about the rocket mortars. Now I have seen like a lot of like people have like I don't know why, but they have problems using this. Like the first instinct, like when you unlock this weapon through your progress path, is you look at the damage and you're like, oh my god, this weapon does forty-five thousand damage, fifty thousand damage, and you go ahead and buy it, and the cost is like seven hundred and fifty A coins. So it's not that small amount. You have to pay a bit for it, and some people just see the damage per magazine and go for it. And then what happens is that they don't know how to use it because the rocket motors they don't like change directions or anything. It's not like a gilded weapon. It just goes straight and just shoots it up. And the best part is it has multiple bullets that makes the damage fifty five thousand. It's not like per bullet you get fifty five thousand damage. You have to divide the damage by the number of rocket motors. So like in this case, the if you see properly. Each rocket motor is carrying three plus three six eight. This one is carrying eight. I think the rocket motor eight is carrying five, and the rocket motor is ten is carrying. I think not sure, but seven. So now, like the first thing we're gonna see are the stats. Now the stats of this weapon are amazing. Like you see the damage per magazine, but the main thing is you have to see the damage per shot. So in my case, I have like a, a second copy of the Rocket Motor 12, and it's truly just amazing. Like if you have dual of this, it's too good. And upgrading it in total must have taken me around 2,000 to 2,500 A coins. Like that's the limit you should get to the second copy. You unlock this weapon when you are on rank three, so you have a ten percent kill score boost, and then you have to work your way up all the way till rank six to get its equip limit increase. Now the thing is, there are three versions of it. So we got Rocket Motor eight, ten, and twelve. There's not much of a difference as all of them have the same purpose except the damage increase and energy cost. So, like, if you are going to go for this, I suggest you go straight for the Rocket Motor 12, because that weapon is the weapon you want to take to the end game. So, like, the 8 and 10, you won't like don't want to like take it to your end game because you know there's a weapon like better than that. Some of you all say that when you're like just new in the game, all your mechs are mostly 16 energy and all, and that is true. And you would prefer getting the dual like. Eights, but they also do cost like I think 600 to 650 acorns, so it's kind of expensive and it's not worth the cost and time because if you're playing now, acorns are very very tough to get. The only way you can actually have in like an income of that is through events and tournaments. And I'm like I'm kind of a veteran because I've been playing since two two and a half years now. So I can say I have a lot of experience with the game, and I can say getting A coins has become much, much tougher. And now that's all for its stat basically. But now there's also one more thing you have to keep in mind, and those are the implants. Now the implants do a huge thing in this. So now if I go in my rocket motor guy, so right now I got the classic guy, the spark guy, and the Implants you want are first ones are the rocket motor radius and the rocket motor damage. If you get these two in epic or legendary, you're fully set. If you get them in the classic blue level, I suggest you try and find a better one. But now, out of these two, your main purpose should be the rocket motor radius because this thing is a killer mode in tournament because there are many tournament like levels where you are. It's like very close. So like what this does it it increases the radius of impact and that's amazing because now suppose there are four or five mechs close by and if I don't have this implant I may kill two or three of them but if I have this implant on I may even kill five or even six of them all and the thing is that with these weapons getting achievements like monster kills the all the like the double kills like the double kill triple kill monster kill these get way way easier. And now I think, and the pilot, the pilot will do like a certain bit of thing. Like mine is pretty basic. He's like HP like seven, and weapon damage is nine point four. So it's not that much. But if you have, uh, if you're planning on getting the where she, yeah, if you're planning to get her face, she'll do good. You can even plan implant like an extra one. 
सो यू कैन पोट आई थिंक आई द लाइक अबिलिटी कूल डाउन और अबिलिटी टाइम इंक्रीज समथिंग लाइक दैट दैट्स अबाउट इट एंड नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो टू द बैटल साइड नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू शो लाइक हाउ एग्जैक्टली यू यूज इट ओके नाउ आई बी स्टार्टिंग अ कस्टम मैथ सोन सो इट्स बेटर टू बी क्लियर वॉट मैप्स यू शुड यूज इट ऑन सो नाउ लाइक रॉकेट मोटर्स डू नॉट वर्क ऑन एवरी सिंगल मैप especially if there are a lot of buildings and all that it won't work now the best maps you want to go for with the rocket motors in the control point clash is the mecarina map site 313 mesa verde annex elon station gray paradise plaza forbidden city and the imperial temple these are the maps where you'll get the best effect of the like the rocket motors and now things now you ask me why not the patterson station it is open but it may like disrupt because because like of the icebergs and all it may block your shots so i will be showing that in later on right now but now for now let's go with the classic macarena map and we're going to see how many kills okay, do we so get so we are in and i have equipped the dual rocket motor 12 so keep in mind when you have the rocket motor 8 or 10 you may not get the way like i am getting it the kills and all but what you want to do is you want to first if you have it like on a high level mech like uh, kill shot max and all you could get the captures or as of now i don't want to as i just want to practice now what you want to do is you want to analyze and through it like as you can see the rocket motors get shot in one direction only and if you're correct with it they get a kill but now i'm going to be showing like an example where like what if the opponent is you know it's moving quite a bit and i think yep i can shoot on that now suppose you see the little lines on the left and right those are pretty important because they show you how do you guide yourself and like i said the damage output the rocket motor 12 gives is amazing now now you have to predict where that guy would be now this guy is over there i may just shoot and as if i'm lucky someone else has spawned too but sometimes you just don't get the kill so what you want to do is you want to analyze where the guy is going to be like this guy he's going to come ahead or he's going to go back so i am thinking he's going to go ahead so i'm going to shoot right over there and yep my team is ready take him out but you get the gist of it that's like you what you want to do and now this is an example of a complete open map as you have noticed because there's nothing blocking the rocket motor so it's a pretty like straight forward game for you and what you want to do is you want to find groups so like i think that's that's on a group that guy got separated but now you have to also be careful of how you're using it now remember if you have a rocket motor 12 its damage output output is amazing so even one of it is fine so don't go ahead and just like spam all of them always use one first and check if it's the guy is not getting killed now if it's a tank like juggernaut and aries i suggest you can use both because those guys are pretty like buffed up and all and yeah Also, you want now see like that's a juggernaut right there. You, what you want to do is you want to shoot both, and yep, it's a definite kill. That's how it is. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with kind of like a different approach. I'm gonna go for a map which there's a lot of buildings in between. Okay, so and now all. we got the Patterson Station. Now things get a little different in these maps. Now as you can see. there are a lot of blockages like a lot of close spaces where your rocket motors just won't do enough damage now for example i'm going to wait for my teammates to go ahead and spot a team and i'm going to shoot my rockets from here you notice what happens like when i don't like suppose like when you're in a very harsh situation and you have to shoot now if i shoot here they just boom you're going to waste all your bullets and the reload time is just too much like over over yeah like now see i shot them i've shot them but they all unfortunately they all just get damaged and maybe just one or two go and hit them so you really need to know what position you are in or what map to use this on now you would tell me you could just go a little ahead and you can just do like this now that's going to be a direct hit for many but it not kill them but gave them a lot of damage but like if you know what i'm trying to say you'll understand that this this weapon is good for the like the main, more bigger and more output style races like this guy is done that guy done like as you can see you need the space for this weapon if you don't you may suffer and it may even suffer your team so third point would be always know your location and position 
now moving on to the okay so now we did talk about the control point cash so let's move on to the 5v5 death match i won't be talking much about the 2v2 death match because most of these maps are like you just can't use it you can't use like the rocket butter like the red carpet arboretum granatium those are out of the question the only ones you could even at least like try are the neon center and beatdown club but as it's a 2v2 death match you want something to be pretty fast and quick you don't want it to be a slow battle because or else your opponents are gonna destroy you and now the 5v5 death match the rocket motor gives you the best value in these maps and it the fifa that match maps are filled with those like we got agora hanging gardens dockyard then we got colonnade we even got fray depot the stacks high bridge tunnel of fate container city two arches these maps are amazing and you should like it's a definite must to go for these maps they are truly in all sense amazing to play the best map for me in my full career of macarena would be the two arches if you have dual rocket mortar 12s and you're on this man with a couple of bots trust me you're going to destroy the opponents like literally destroy them i'm going to do a short example over here just to show you how the game looks like you do have to take into consideration that there can be real players who do use this combination so to fight against them it basically like it's on your skill and improve awesome we won this battle and i did not see how many kills i got i think we got 11 or 10 i am not sure Okay yeah so we got 11 kills just by a practice round literally so you already know you can perform greatly in your like like your tournaments control point clash you can perform awesome and now the max i would suggest you want to put this on so first option first and foremost which i would suggest you would be the guardian the guardian is op with this because even if your opponents get too close to you you have the system crash ability that's going to help you out a little so my first choice would be guardian second choice would be panther and third choice would be paragon now i know some of you will say why not the stalker or why not the brick house as these guys can boost the damage well you do unlock them when like brick house you get him at 18 but you have to max stalker and brick house all the way to the seven star level and that is going to take you a lot of time and we don't have that much time you want something quick and easy you got your panther guardian or paragon to level 20 like energy level 24 you're good to go you're seriously just good to go and yep but once you do get these guys to 24 i have no words for this i am working on this but i can tell you one thing it will be a major game changer in your game And I think that's all for today. If you like this video, kindly like, share and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to not miss any amazing video updates. And if you want me to try out any other difficulties you guys have, I'm here for you. I can explain anything to you guys. I've been a lot of time in this game. You can ask me anything. And that's all for today. I will see you in my next video.